Okay guys, Tyler Tundra back with more Let's Play Two Worlds 2. And now we'll We need to make our way through the throne room ahead. Stay close and stay quiet. Right behind you. Just keep your head down. As I was saying, and I will save you the butchery of uh, the game's books. So here we're introduced to the sneak mechanic where you know, to do so, you have to stand still and right click. More well, cutscenes. There's always cutscenes. Understood, Master. My lord! Something happened! Oh, something. The guards, they. They're all dead! Their bodies have been found in the dungeons and. and Just moving my mic. What? You worthless fool! Find him. Find him now. Or fall on your sword. Yes, sir. As you command. We can't trust him to take him alive. Sword on. See to it that this is taken care of. He will not leave this castle. Be assured of that. I have matters to attend to. And sword on. He is not alone. As you wish, Master. Alright, Mr. Suave walking over to that sword. So yeah, I guess the architect was right. He is a goat horned nonce. <laughs> Making fun of characters. Yeah. Okay. Who the hell was he talking to? Sort of. Let Gandhar's army against the orcs. Then let's avoid an introduction. And I know this because I read about it. You have a plan. The Emperor has a teleport in the throne room. The others will meet us there. What happened to avoiding introductions? Never said the plan was perfect. Suppose it's the thought that counts. Look, we need to get moving. Ooh, would you look at that? There's more books. <laughs> um, I believe one of these books, though, is something that I... Is that a book? No. Not a pick up a bubble bubble book. But yeah. Uh, one of these books is a book that I feel I should show you. If I can... I think it's this one. The Architects of Antalor. Why have you noticed that? This is exa this is in fact a credits book. The credits for the game are in this book that you can find in the opening tutorial section of the game. I think this is a this is actually quite a, a cool thing. I think. Now the credits are probably also at the end of the game too, but to be able to pick them up in a book right at the beginning of the game is uh, I, I think it's just something interesting so yeah good work from all these people for what I've seen so far you guys can stop and read through some of the names if you want I'm not going to do that okay So, let's hopefully get into another cutscene. God forbid we do any action in this opening tutorial section. Orkish, Bill. Soon all that's left of your dying race will be washed away. Your genocide will be complete and be forgotten with your fallen brothers and sisters. You sound certain, Sordahan. <sighs> <laughs> and did nothing. 
I'll make it quick. You deserve as much. We're done here. Take the others. <laughs> That's such a pathetic death. He has his sword lightly pushed away and then he gets cut down. No. Now we're done. Mankind will bleed out from their own arrogance before their words will afford them credence. For some reason he's reminding me of Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> that was a silly way to go. Another way in the dungeon. We can make it if we hurry. Okay. There always seems to be a few more to kill. And finally, we can run. I'm gonna go ahead and collect some more stuff just because I like loot. And that guy is. <laughs> and he's still chasing us. Oh, crap! There's more people. That was a stupid jump. Oh, I'm gonna beat you! I'm gonna beat you! Oh no, I can't run anymore. Because we need a cutscene. That was close. Not close enough. Now what? Try the door to the right. And if it's locked? Then pick the damn thing. Fair enough. Here, take these lockpicks. Thanks. Guess I'll see you on the other side. I don't need to know how to do the lockpicking. Um, lockpicking, in my opinion, is uh, actually extremely easy. A lot easier than, well, I wouldn't say easier than the lockpicking in Fallout 3 and uh, Fallout New Vegas because that is pretty easy lock picking but uh, I'd say it's a lot more interesting than the lock picking in Oblivion right. Oblivion's got a really hard lock picking system this has got a real, what I think is a really cool and interesting kind of lock picking system so you set off your the begin lock picking thing and it and the lockpick swirls around, you've got to try and get into these nooks in the lock. And once you get all of the nooks in the sections, then it'll unlock it. Um, a tip for unlocking doors is that, or chests is to uh, look for the nooks on each section. And there'll, be all, there'll always be two nooks, and one nook on the section will always be op The second nook will always be opposite the first nook. So yeah, just scout out each nook in the uh, in each section, and then find the quickest way of doing it because you are timed. Now she actually went that way, as you can see her there. But uh, if you keep going this way, then there is actually a chest that you can loot if I don't do it wrong. Oh wait, no, he's still looting it. 
And you can get a, a bit of money. Kind of pointless, yes, but it's still money. And if you're a loot haul like me, then you'll want to try and get all the loot you can. As long as you know how. Welcome to Plan B. Where the hell are we? There should be an alchemy lab on the other side of this door. We can use the supply teleport. Hope you're right. Okay. Now really what my objective is, is just to start collecting a bunch of stuff and... Oh, turn around. There we go, the Warlord. That's what I need. Oh, I've already, I keep forgetting that it already equips it. Oh, I've also got these attribute crystal crystals. We'll be getting into them a little later. But uh, as for now, we've got our first usable weapon of the game, which is this mace type thing that you can Stop. swing at people. So let's just carry on the plot. Good. It's still here. Can you get it working? It'll take some time. It can't be far behind us. Then find a weapon and guard the right. Yeah, she said guard the door. Well, I skipped the the end part back to. This part of the dungeon is sealed. There's no way out. They couldn't have gone far. Spread out and find. Why we police? Okay. Look what we have here. There's nowhere okay, left to so, run. Uh, You're mine. <laughs> when you said anything about running. That guy shows up to uh, stop us, and suddenly his shirt has changed colour. Ah, no! So, yeah. And against single no! enemies, it's, it, most of the time you can just wail on them ah! with a hail of blows and they'll go down. God. Except for certain enemies that. Done. I'm impressed. That, uh, Is he act dead? a little different. The ones that don't get stunned when you hit them. Just unconscious. He's only a soldier. He's just following orders. Anyway, portal's ready. Let's go. Ooh, right. Don't know why I did that. So after this loading screen, we can get on to more of the game. Um. Wrong place. Yeah. Well, at least it's the right island. Hazards of trusting an orc mage. We should get to the camp. This way. What is this place? Home. A little island northeast of Alcronas called Dasorna. Lovely. <laughs> it's no use. We need tools for this. Follow the path to the teleport up ahead. Rogdor will know what to do. I... Uh, go! Wait. Watch out for Groms. They're all over this part of the island. If they see us, we're both dead. How should I handle this? Just... Try to stay off sight. If you find yourself with limited options, approach from the rear and dispatch them quickly and quietly. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll approach from the rear. That was a distasteful joke. <laughs> So yeah, she and the rest of the orcs have been here for quite a while and they know that there are groms in the area but she didn't check to see if there might have been any traps around. She just blindly walks into one. She's a great assassin rogue type person. Okay, so uh, we're going to get into assassinations now which is while sneaking, you sneak up behind someone, 
and then when the symbol pops up you click the attack button and you kill them. and you can loot their corpse inventory there isn't anything in there why? just because now let's try not to run I want to do the stealthy like I do like the music in this game. It, it, the music can go from being very exciting when you're in a full-blown battle to very peaceful. Although at the moment we're kind of in assassin mode, so the kind of peaceful air to it is kind of off-putting. Maybe something a bit more mysterious would have worked. After all, we've only just arrived at this place. Okay, teleport out of here. We can get back on with the talking. The endless talking. Finally! We used the other teleport. Dropped us near the peninsula. Dartha. Where is she now? Caught in a trap near the edge of this island. Killed a few Groms on the way. Groms? A parasite infesting the east side of Elsorna. Probably another hunting party. Gotarius, find Darfa. Nortar! Cover the rear. What's the plan? Time to assemble our own hunting party. Follow me. I'm gonna save quick. Just so I don't screw anything up. So, uh, this is how I usually do, save sy do the save system. At least on the computer, anyway. Since I don't have for anything else. Here we go. I like to, uh, as this is, the, this is my let's play, I'll put LP, then number. But usually I'll do it more like this, where I put G for game, and then it'll be a game, whatever game it is, so game one, and then I'll just number it up. That way it helps you keep track of where it is, because I've found that with these, these are autosaves, so autosaves can kind of get mixed up in between the save that you want. And I got confused trying to find out which was my uh, latest save. So I just find it easiest to number them like that. Take the lead. It's time to see what you're capable of. Any advice? Remember to block. Now go! So yeah, he's pretty much a warrior class type, type person and apparently I don't have my mace thing equipped. Okay, I can draw it now. So yeah, he's a warrior type person. The woman, I've forgotten her name already, she's a rogue type class character. Uh. The other guy that saved us is obviously going to be the ranger guy, so he's going to teach us how to use a bow. And finally, the shaman guy is going to teach us how to use magic. I see you haven't lost your touch completely. Yeah, I was expecting worse. It's not over yet. Remember that once you've blocked your opponent, you can easily counter his attack with a quick, decisive strike. Keep that in mind during your next engagement. Will do. Keep getting interrupted by people. Yeah. So yeah, this is this part's just teaching us how to do counter attacks and but usually against single opponents, you can just wail on them. Thank you. Will leave themselves so open to attack. You'll find that a strong <laughs> defensive stance can be difficult to break. What do you suggest? Force. Swing down on your opponent, breaking his footing and opening up his defenses. Okay, so our first uh, special type attack. And sure. It tells you that you should sneak across this, but I'm going to run. It's not that hard to get across that. It's quite a wide log. So, in order to break for people's defences, you should use the block breaker, although it doesn't seem to always work. I usually just use it for heavy damage, and it can give you invincibility frames, in fact. I've used it a few times to kill off some rather strong enemies. 
I'm impressed. Now let's finish this. Trip the log and stand back. The distraction should give Nortar and Gortarius enough time to make their move. I'm on it. I keep getting a lot of jumping. I might need to mess around with some some options. So now I've got a pointless section where I have to run up to the log instead of just go with the rest of the cutscene. Okay, I guess I have to go back. Not sure up about you crossing fallen trees. You've been fallen. Take this bow and finish them off. Thought you went with the mage. Okay, so uh, this is our archery training. So you uh, pull out the weapon as usual, and you hold down the attack button, let it charge up, <laughs> That's rich. and fire it. I do that. Oh, oh, it's so that simple. Uh, worst time for everything. Although I think you'll find trying to aim two arrows specifically in the way they want us to. So it wants us to do the same thing for regular attacking, but we need to press actually we need to select the ability first and then press X and then we can right click on them. So this is the uh, multiple target shot thing, whatever it's called. And then you release and it'll fire off both arrows. And these grums get killed very easily. Fall back to the camp. Lead the way. Well how about nothing? I just go on my own. Not bad. Looking forward to seeing how you handle yourself after a meal and some rest. And Dartha. Ask her yourself. Seems unsafe to let the Groms get this close. These attacks happen often. Groms are scavengers, preying on the weak and wounded. They keep to their side of the island. If not, we will mine them. So, they have any equipment worth salvaging? In your state, they tear you apart. Spare yourself the embarrassment of another rescue. Okay, fair enough. So, how's the ankle? I've lived through worse. As long as we're still breathing, Vitarius can usually keep it that way. I hear Rogdor put you to work. No worry. Least I can do. We'll see if you feel the same way in a couple of weeks. Don't hold me to it. We should get moving. She's been waiting for you. The Prophet? I almost forgot. Be grateful she didn't. Fair enough. Lead the way. Tell me, you ever stop talking? You ever take off the mask? Okay, I'm going to end it here, and next time we will get into the mage craft of this game. So until next time, guys, this is Tajah Tundra, signing out.